There is a video on my channel about color grading, and if you haven't seen it, do not watch it. There is a lot of mistakes in there. So I'll try to rectify that by color grading this 8-bit non-lock footage. We're gonna open DaVinci Resolve, our color page, and there is supposed to be a note. If you cannot find one, just press Alt-S, and there it is. We go into rename it. The first way to rename a note is right-click on it, note label, and type anything you want. The second way is to open DaVinci Resolve, keyboard customization, find note renaming, and tie a key to this. I already did this, and F1 I have for renaming note. Let's call it exposure, okay? We're gonna open our sculpts, and we're gonna mess with gain, gamma, and lift to adjust our image. Gonna increase gamma. Yep. We're not gonna touch lift because our shadows are uh, where this supposed to be. We are going to increase contrast, but remember, this is a non-lock footage. You're not going to increase it a lot, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, create another node, Alt plus S. We're gonna name it Saturation to keep ourselves to keep ourselves organized. Now, we're going to increase saturation. Again, this is non-lock footage. Increase it ever so slightly. We can come back anytime and adjust it accordingly. Then, third note, this is going to be our skin tones. Now, this is an 8-bit footage. It is going to be very difficult to uh, qualify our skin, but we'll try to do our best. We are engaging our highlight and we are picking our skin, then adding a little bit to this. Yeah, now we are going to denoise it. Clean white, clean black. Add a little bit of this. This is okay for now. To select this. We'll return to this uh, note a bit later. Okay, this one is look adjustment. What we're gonna do is we're going to take this offset and move it around and have a look what's catching our eyes, what is looking nice, what is not. Okay. Mm. This looks kind of interesting. Okay, let's leave it here. But notice we are affecting our skin tones with we are going back to the skin tone, and here um, there are two methods how to deal with it. First, we can create a node, connect this node to a parallel node that goes parallel to our look adjustment to preserve our skin tones. But this is an 8-bit footage. This is going to look very unnatural. So what are we going to do? We're going back to skin tones, to our, our gamma, and pushing it slightly towards reddish color, okay? This way we are bringing back some of the colors that are natural to the skin. If this isn't working, we can always go back, or if we're changing anything in the future, we can always go back and adjust it accordingly, okay? Now, after look adjustment, we are going to go into vignetting. And right after that, we're going to create an outer note. To create an outer note, you can either right-click on it, Add note and add outside note. Not alter, outside, okay? Also, you can click Alt O to create to create an outside note. Here is an outside. So what does it do? You're gonna see in a minute. We're gonna create a power window over here over our subject, right? We're gonna Increase softness. I'm gonna feather it a bit. Now, what are we gonna do? We go into vignette, change into editable splines, and we're gonna increase the emphasis on our subject ever so slightly. Okay, 
Now we disengage our editable, editable splines, go into outside node and reducing everything that is around. Not very drastically, but just ever so slightly to make it look prettier. Okay. Now we next node is our global adjustment. This is going to be used to adjust anything we want in this picture and also to clean our shadows. I used to show that I clean my shadows by using this, limiter versus saturation, by creating this and cleaning shadows. But there is a big drawback. We are reducing saturation in our shadows. We do not want to do this. Now I clean my shadows differently. What I do is go into a log wheels and shadows. Now look at the dark parts of the image, for example, the short or my hair. We are going to push an opposite color to make it neutral, but as saturated as it was before. So this kind of bluish, we are going to push a little bit of red, the opposite opposite color right but we can see that it it is affecting everything in the background as well what we're going to do is use our low range and high range we're using it increasing it a bit now it's affecting only our shadows that are deep shadows in here and not affecting our background now this is nice Next, next is going to be our glow. This trick sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't, but when it works, it looks kind of nice. We are dropping our glow effect and changing our composite type into soft light. Now, shine threshold increase, spread increase. Now it looks already, it looks nicer than we're adjusting our brightness and opacity and blend if we really really need it we can even colorize it we do not really need it right now but it's it's a nice trick to have okay so we already done some chop so this is before, this is after. We can uh, reduce slightly our skin tone. Yep. Going back to our color wheels and adjusting our skin tones. Yeah. Now let's try to create an anamorphic effect. Usually for anamorphic look, you're gonna need an anamorphic lens, but anamorphic lenses are very, very expensive. You can create an anamorphic look in DaVinci Resolve. Let's try to do this. It's not going to look just perfectly anamorphic, but aperture diffraction. This is the first effect, aperture diffraction. This is the first effect that we're gonna use, aperture diffraction. Aperture size increase and uh, result gamma. You can either colorize it or not. There are a lot of adjustments in here. You can adjust brightness of this effect and blend. This is like an opacity, how much this is going to affect our image. So this is not going to change a lot but this is like this subtle thing that going to have in our image then lens reflection lens reflection okay now we're gonna end a lens reflection in here wow this is a lot there is even anamorphism anamorphism in here slider something like this brightness reducing it's going 
We need a subtle effect, not just this killer one. Yeah, global blur. It is colorized and we're going to blend it, not make it just that obvious, okay? And then uh, the last note is going to go for light rays, okay? Light rays. So, again, very heavy effect. But we're going to adjust it. First of all, we're going to soften it, increase length, reduce brightness, and blend it. Okay, now it looks better. So this before, this is after with slight like anamorphic effect. You can tweak this image and play with it much as you want but this is basically how it's done we may have done some mistakes but definitely less than in the previous video see ya